Welcome to today's video where I am going to rank the 6 superhero show which I have seen in 2022 and are releasing 2022. And this will also include the Marvel shows so you know we are coming at the very bottom. So in at number 6 we have She-Hulk, the unsurprising winner or loser in this case. I was very excited for the show cause She-Hulk was one of the OG editors of the Marvel comics. She was much more well known than Iron Man and Guardians of the galaxy but all my excitement when it went after i just was a very first episode it's bad now one thing i can say the first episode and the whole series have in common is the comedy is cringy cg is bad and story was garbage and courtroom scenes are lackluster i can go on bitching about this show for an hour or so but i'm sure there is no point in that in at number five we have miss marvel and well now the flaws in this show is similar to she hulk comedy is cringe the story is bad and all that but one thing this show does better i would say is kamala khan because she is not as cringy as jen walters but that doesn't mean she is absolutely amazing or something this show's main purpose was not to make a good story it was there just to have indian representation the plot of this show is pretty dumb and the antagonist the jeans some caricature of what real jeans probably are now in islamic cultures jeans are mystical ghostly beings but here they are clandestines or something and they have no purpose in the story and they are pretty dumb too and what they want is also dumb and the indian representation they want to get it towards becomes just stereotypical there was nothing good about this show other than the fact that kamala khan is kinda okay and my favorite character from the show is bruno in at number four we have the moon knight well it's kind of sad to see the bottom three our MCU shows as MCU used to be at the top of the food chain in terms of superhero comic book movies. But sadly, MCU chooses quantity over quality as phase 4 of MCU has so much content and so little of that makes any impact. Now Moon Knight is also a mediocre show but what makes this one of the not very bottom part of the list is Oscar Isaac. I mean he might not get an Oscar for this show but he is the Oscar for this show and this show has Arthur Harold as its villain and it was also good. Now the bad part of this show is pretty similar to other show where the story at times get lackluster and the plot doesn't move forward. Even in the 6 episodes there are fillers. There are at least 2 filler episodes. So other than that I would say this is a okay-ish show. If you are enjoying it so far why not hit the like button and subscribe. Number 3 is Netflix's Sandman and I know you might think it's not a superhero show but there are some fantasy elements which are like superpowers and more than that it's from DC Comics. This is based off of a graphic novel by DC and I have not read that so watching this show was me first time experiencing and I like the story. Now just like any other DC stuff it's also dark and gritty and the story and the characters benefits from this dark and gritty environment and tells a pretty dark story. Now the story of this show is pretty solid, plot is tight, the story is gripping and the characters are interesting. Now this show has a weird tendency of dropping a bunch of characters without any previous knowledge about them but after a little time spent with those characters you understand those characters so it is a good thing. And I just binged it last week and it's pretty good. In at number 2 we have The Boys. The Boys is the only show on this list which is not its first season rather the third season cause it's released this year and is amazing. The best part of this series is the writing cause the writers made almost all the main and the side characters pretty three dimensional. It's not like most other superhero shows I have seen lately. Now the story is pretty focused and even the side plots are enjoyable and all led up to the main season finale and well all hell herogasm. Characters like Queen Maeve, Soldier Boy and Homelander gets a great character arc and Butcher vs Homelander scenes were amazing. I can talk great stuff about this show for an hour or so but I'm pretty sure you're not here for that. So all I can say is this is a solid show and 
it will never feel bored. I don't know if I'm going to put drum roll noise or not, but in at number one we have the Peacemaker. Now I know with the current situation with James Gunn firing Henry Cavill, people are mad at him. But if I don't put this on this list, well, that would be very dishonest of me. Now this show I was kinda skeptical from the beginning as John Cena, the lead of this show is from WWE and you all know, WWE actors or characters are always a hit or a miss. And here's John Cena as the main lead of the show. But all changed when the first three episodes dropped. And holy fucking shit. The story was so intriguing. Now, this show started off pretty good and it ended off pretty amazing. Now, one thing I might say, yeah, this is full of James Gunn. Quirky humor, which some people like, some others hate. But overall, I can say you are definitely going to have an enjoyable time. And the season finale has the greatest cameo. Aquaman, Superman, Flash, and Wonder Woman all shows up. And that was, and that was amazing. Well, I know. Dizzy being Dizzy has to pull the trigger and all the shenanigans started and those all the actors are out now but the scene was there and this scene is pretty great so all in all I had a great time watching this show now that's it for today's video and let me know how do you all rank these shows and if you have some other shows you can also include cause I might have not included some animated stuff which I have not watched so if you let me know in the comments maybe I will watch them and make another video and money is off of your comments just kidding i don't even have monetization anyway this is probably going to be the last video of this year so merry christmas and a happy new year as well